Hello, um, I got back Friday from my little trip to Shanghai and I went for a week uh, with my girlfriend to visit her parents <clears throat> and um, I had a great time. Uh, it reminded me a lot when I was a kid I lived for uh, three years in Hong Kong. It did remind me a lot of that um, except a lot more spacious like Hong Kong is very cramped and usually you end up wherever you go being like shoulder to shoulder just with people you have no personal space and it's i i that's something that really bothered me um and shanghai despite having 22 million people living there um at least when i went there which may have something to do with chinese new year as well and people like being on holiday it was very very pleasant like it wasn't busy at all the inner city you know there were people there obviously but in sydney uh, you often, if you go into the center of town, you're often going to be in places that are a lot busier than anywhere we went. And the roads were very clear, like the traffic was great. Um, and we even, we took the bus a couple of times, so cabs are obviously cheap. We <laughs> cabbed a lot of it, um, especially because it was very cold. But we took buses a couple of times and, you know, uh, that was okay. It wasn't like, you know, overfilled. They didn't have to push people in. Um, so that, that was pretty interesting to me. I was expecting it to be a lot more full on, like just crowded, which at least when I went there, it wasn't. Um, and other than that, I had a really good time. Like the difficult thing, I guess, was I don't speak Chinese. Um, so the only people that spoke English while I was there was, uh, my girlfriend and her brother. Um, so, uh, yeah, that, that was, you know, I, I spent a lot of time listening to people talk in Chinese. Um, but I, I'm kind of used to it because I lived in a couple of different places when I was a kid and I didn't speak the local language. Most people spoke English there, um, but some didn't. And sometimes you're just sitting somewhere and you're just with people that speak a different language and you can't understand what they're saying. Um, but it was it was pretty good. Um, and I... I'm looking forward to going back for a bit longer because I we didn't really have time to um, to go do all of the things, especially since I'm rather lazy and take a while to get out of bed in the mornings. So by the time we get out of the hotel room, it's it's um, it's already pretty close to midday. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's 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 a lot of things the things that we checked out. I really enjoyed um, and yeah it's it's it looks to be a really really interesting city and very very like everything's huge everything's very metropolitan -y kind of um, f like mm, futuristic well it's, it's not like it's not like I, I haven't been to Tokyo so I can't really say it, but I hear that everything's robots and things it's not like that it's more just like a really really big kind of um, metropolitan city um, and living in, in in Sydney now like coming back it, it felt kind of like <laughs> uh, going to a provincial kind of town it's um it's it's very different it's very like even the inner city is is very small in comparison at the same time it's not like hong kong where you're in the city and it's just high rises all around you it's because there's a lot of space so you end up with these huge amazing buildings um and then just quite a bit of space around them um and it gives you it it, it feels nice i i enjoyed it um but yeah i mean the thing the thing why i was pretty excited um to go to china and check it out was primarily because um, uh, meeting my girlfriend's parents that was pretty good um, and her family and that was excellent and I had a very good time with them and they were very kind um, and obviously I could speak to her brother but not her parents directly so she had to interpret but um, I, I got along with them very well um, but I mean, the other thing is, it's China. It's it's a billion, what, 1.2 billion people. Uh, it's huge, and it's it's a place that's not as accessible 
um, as a lot of other places from the outside because most people don't speak the language if you want to find out about the US sure you're it's it's you know you can't really get a total feel for it if you're living outside the US but you can gather a lot of it through the cultural output that the US produces um, and the journalistic output that the US produces and US news and so on and so forth whereas I can't access that in Chinese because Chinese culture hasn't really become part of the Western mainstream yet um, at least not in any form I think that's my opinion anyways that's that's kind of realistic it's only like uh, a Western kind of uh, almost parody of Chinese culture that usually exists in the West and the language barrier so I can't really watch Chinese news um, or or kind of read Chinese books I, I could read translations I guess um, but it's a lot harder so it was very interesting to be there and just to kind of absorb even though it was mostly um, mostly in a kind of vegetative kind of just you know letting it uh, letting it hit me kind of way because I had I there was a limit to how much I could interact again because of the language barrier but it was very interesting and I look forward to going back um, and I look forward you know hopefully when we go back for a bit longer um, we'll uh, do some trips outside Shanghai as well um, I'd really like to go to uh, some smaller areas like somewhere more rural in China um, I'd be really interested in that like my dad he goes to China a lot on business like he's there um, it's probably the place where he goes most on business he's probably there every two months or so um, and he's been all over he's been in all of the big cities and a lot of the smaller places in the countryside and he tells interesting stories um, and I think it's I think it's one of those things like you you really need to it's always a good thing if you can experience different places um, again I, I do harp back on it a lot <laughs> but you know the, this idea of different stories this idea of different views which all have their own unique kind of root and the root is cultural um, different ways of seeing the world and some may be may in you know in some aspects be more accurate than others in a sort of objective sense but at the same time none of them is really completely right and I think in a lot of ways they complement each other and a lot of times there are issues where there is really no right and no wrong so it's just important to try to get an understanding of where people elsewhere are coming from in that regard and the thing is I usually like I don't I right now I don't travel much at all so it was an excellent opportunity um, for me to, to have a little bit of that and then hopefully um, in the future do a little bit more of that and you know um, I don't know about learning Chinese that sounds very very difficult but uh, I definitely look forward to getting more more exposure to that um, and you know if you if you ever I, I recommend it it's a very interesting Shanghai is a very nice city I um, have to check out Beijing I guess at some stage to do a comparison although I guess for political reasons I will already have to pronounce Shanghai to be the best city because otherwise I'll get my ass kicked um, but yeah that that was my that was my little one week trip and it was quite relaxing and now I'm back to um, my everyday slog. <laughs>